Good morning or afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. It's morning here, so I'm gonna make me a breakfast sandwich, something quick and easy. First thing, I'm gonna get the pan, get a pan out. Uh, you know what? I'll probably get a larger pan. Just because I'm gonna make a good amount. I'm gonna make it a lot faster to cook. I'm also gonna go ahead and toast these bagels that you see I have right here. I'm just gonna heat up the front side, heat up this side. Um, got some eggs, some American slices of cheese, melt really easily. And I'm gonna get a cutting board to cut up the ham. So it's gonna be a bacon, egg, no, no, not bacon. Ham, egg, and cheese breakfast bagel. So you can use any type of ham that you want. You can use sausage, bacon, whatever you want. But, you know, I have this ham here. Um, it's like the actual, you know, not like the pre-deli ham, but I like using this ham. It, it usually tastes much better. Oh, it still has some frost in it from the freezer. I defrosted it last night. Here, let me knock some of that off. Cause that moisture, that ice is not gonna help with the, you know, the crisping up process. And all I'm gonna do is just cube it up into small little cubes. But let me go ahead and put this one away. So yeah, super easy breakfast. Um, I find buying ham like that, it's at a comparable price to deli ham nowadays. So I'm like, might as well buy it like that, cut it up into like these portion sizes and vacuum seal them. As you can see, that's already a, you know, a pattern that I do here. <sighs> Trying to get the most out of your money. Let's still eat really good. Okay, you know, let's go ahead and, you know, these will probably be done pretty quickly. So get one started on there. So probably cut this in like threes right here, three cuts, maybe what, a quarter inch thick, then I'll do like three or four cuts this way and then cube it and there we go you know it's been a while since I've used avocado oil May been mainly using extra virgin olive oil I like both Mainly I use the avocado oil whenever I'm doing like high heat cooking. Gotta get a new kitchen towel. Some oil. Let's test one. Yeah, that's good. As long as it gives the sizzle. Oh man, overboard. Making sure everything has nice even contact. Let that do its thing. Pick up this piece. New kitchen towel. one was from the pizza episode that I made the other day or yesterday so see how it has a lot of steam that's from the you know being frozen and having some ice and that's why I use the big pan because then with more surface area that steam is gonna dissipate a lot faster and then you'll be able to get that crisp a lot sooner so next thing I'm probably gonna do is you know what I'll probably beat the eggs Beat the eggs and then let's split these apart. These already come pre-cut, but I guess not well enough because they don't want to come apart. Mm. That one didn't come apart too nicely, but it's okay. Food's still gonna taste good. 
Then as they get toasted, I'll, I'll move these to the back and move those to the front. Probably beat some eggs. I got time. I was just gonna crack them directly into there, but since I got time, I can just beat them here. That already has salt. You know, ham is quite salty as it is, so there's no need to add salt to that. I'll add a little bit to the eggs. Again, the egg trick, hit one egg against another egg, makes it less likely that you know, the shells are gonna fall in. See, you almost lost some shells there. You know, if I've ever watched the video where someone didn't wash their hands after cracking some eggs, I'd be kind of shook. <laughs> Let's add some salt and some pepper onto those eggs. That's all eggs need. Literally salt and pepper. Let me turn up the heat because I want that to dissipate. That's gonna, probably going to take a while. That ham is already fully cooked. It just needs to be reheated. But I want to get some color on it before I add the eggs in there. You don't have to beat the eggs, but it'll make it more homogeneous and even, like similar consistency across the board. Okay, see that one's good to go. Move the next one up. Yeah, I'm dry toasting them. I feel like they don't really need much. You could add oil, but, eh, or butter. It's not necessary. Let me get a larger cutting board too. I'll put my items right here after they're done. I'm gonna beat the eggs with the fork. And everything's gonna come together really, really quickly. I'm gonna pour the eggs with the ham on there. I had a lot of. A lot of moisture in that ham. But just let it do its thing. Okay. This one is good. This one still needs a little bit more. Bring this one up to the front. this one another trick that you can do is put all your ham to one side put all the um, let all the fluids move to the other side of the water so it can dissipate faster move that like right over the heat if you're being impatient like I am but yeah this this ham should start getting color on it pretty soon. As soon as that water goes, it's gonna be good. And these should be good to go. Yeah. Cool. And this one fell apart, but Oh well. Keep them on here and they'll stay warm. So the back over here is still kind of slightly warm, but I only heated up the front. So, okay, see now most of it has dissipated. Now we're getting that color on this. That's what we've been waiting for. Once we've developed some color on this, then we'll add the eggs and everything will be ready really quickly. And already prepare the cheese. Jaggy, do you want mayonnaise on yours? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put mayonnaise on mine too. Usually Jackie doesn't like mayonnaise, but she was open it to uh, open to it today, so try new things every once in a while, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying Jackie doesn't eat mayonnaise, she she does, but 
She could care less. She just feels like, you know, at McDonald's with the McChickens, they go overboard with the mayonnaise. And I tend to agree. Okay, so see the change in the ham? You're getting that color really quickly now. It's starting to look like almost like um, bacon or pork belly a little bit um, with that char. And that's because there's no more moisture in it. Okay, pull out the mayo. Turn this down a little bit. Let's start prepping these bagels. Butter knife would be better. Oh yeah, that's gonna be ready really quickly. Shoot, I might just take it off the heat right now while I prep this. This one will be Jackie's. She doesn't like a lot, so. That's for her. And let's go ahead and move these so they don't burn. You know what, I'm gonna add in the egg already. Let that do its thing. Whenever cooking with egg, put a little bit of the bleach solution. Oh, it's almost out, all out. In here. Before I wash it. And I keep it separate. Okay. Let the egg do its thing. Turn it down on low. You could cook it at a higher heat if you want. You just got to be watching it. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because I'm... Putting mayonnaise on my bagels. Okay, so here we go. Next one. Jackie's playing Animal Crossing in the back. Some cheese on that one. Last one. Let's move this egg around. It's on pretty low, low heat, but. It'll get done quickly, you'll see. Okay, last one. Okay, some cheese, put it on this top piece that's kind of falling apart, so can work as some glue to keep it together. There you go, egg's about to be ready. This ham, egg, and cheese breakfast bagel. This away. Oh, I know Jackie likes ketchup on hers, so leave this at the table and we'll be good to go in a second. I like my egg just a little bit more cooked. Turn it up. And we got a little assembly line pretty much right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably place it over the egg and flip it around.
And you could use this mixture in breakfast burritos, really whatever you want. You can use different types of cheese. Remember, it's your kitchen. You can do whatever you'd like. Turn the heat up a little bit just because I'm hungry already. All right. I'm happy with that egg. Place it on top like that. Give it, give it its lid. Flip it. Place it on top like that. Give it its lid and then flip it. Place it on top like that. Probably add a little bit more to this one. Turn this down. Give it its lid and flip it. So there we have it. Breakfast sandwiches. Bomb. All right. I'm gonna take a bite and bid my farewells. Pretty good. I'm happy. I know I shouldn't be talking with my with food in my mouth, but it was too good. Yeah, so there you have it. Breakfast bagels. Enjoy your day, guys. Have a good one.